Hey. Good morning. Another week. Another week has flown by. Very intense week. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Program. I'm on Insta today as well as Facebook Live. Come on in and join me. We're going to be focusing our energy, pulling some cards from the wild unknown, talking about this cosmic energy coming forward. We're still in it. We are still in it. More to come. Come on in and join me. Come on in and let's talk about what's going on. Got some great cards coming up to help us really move through this week. Yeah, lots of energy out there. How can you harness that energy for you? How can you focus it? Come on in and join me. We do a little focusing. Got some great cards talking about the week ahead. It's my birthday week. Yay! Woke up this morning going, okay, what's going on? What's going on? It's like, oh yeah, it's my birthday week. So yeah, I'm getting up there in age. I don't feel it in the heart. Yay! And I've still got my yoga practice. I'm still out there doing it. But yes, it is a birthday week for me, which is a celebration. But we are in so much intense energy. And maybe you've noticed it for yourself. Well, thank you there, Mr. Brian. Thank you. Yes, maybe you've noticed it this week for yourself. So we do have some more energy coming up. We're moving out of that new moon into the second quarter. That's what we'll be doing this week. We've got retrograde. We've got transits. We've got so much going on, which can really shift it up for ourselves as well. So how are you feeling? Let me know below if you've noticed this energy for you. Let me know how you're feeling below. What's going on? Are you able to stick to your spiritual practice? Have you been thrown off? Like, what is it? I know for myself, it's like every day, get out there. Every day, sit. Every day, be quiet. Every day, say like, ah, oh, 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 what's going on? That's a little bit of what we can find and expect as we move through these eclipses. All right, we just had the one last week, the new moon one, and now we've got another one coming in next week. And then another one in August. So it's really stirring all this energy up. It really is. All right, Linnell, welcome. She says, massive letting go this week. Yeah, we have to let go. We really do. And we have to hold in our heart what it is the bigger picture is all about. That's what we want to do. We don't want to let all those struggles and everything take over, right? Because they will eat up that vibration. They will pull us down. So letting go, moving it out, energy follows intention. Let it go so that you can bring your dreams. You can open up. We're in the second half of the year. Now it's time to really push it out for yourself, what you're doing, what you're wanting. Change it up if you need to. All right, that's exactly the energy of this week. It's like perseverance. Stick to it. And everything I said last week still applies. Grounding. How do you ground your energy? How do you really deal with all this craziness going on around us? All right. Look what happened over in England, right? Look what happened over there. and Look what happens all around us. So we need to be strong. We need to put the vibrations out that we want. But if we get caught in the struggles of our mind, if we get caught in the old patterns, they just eat up that new vibration, all right? So really, where can you let that go? Where can you open up and really release those struggles, do some work, do some tapping, do some grounding, let Mother Earth come in to help you release it out of the body so that you can open up, all right? Really important as we move through this week. I'm going to go ahead and share this out on Facebook into my private circle. Please come join me in there. If you're not in the Empowered Spirit Circle, definitely come join us. We have more conversation, more talking, more information. Let me just put this in there so that they see it as well, and then we'll go on with the day. So what have you noticed from this week? All right, so la massive letting go. That's one comment we've had. I know for myself, it was the same thing. The week started out a little bit of crying and intensity and just letting it go. And then as I did, what I noticed was that I opened up to so much more happiness in my life. Oh my gosh, I felt so great. I felt so empowered. I felt really good. All right, here we go. Let me just share it so I don't get distracted and I can move on. All right, Empowered Spirit Circle. Here we go. Come join us in the circle. I'll be loving, I'd love to invite you in, all right? 
All right, there we go. One more share onto my timeline, and then we can move forward. So this week, got it. All right. So this week, we actually have that second phase coming forward. So we had the new moon. We had the eclipse. We're able to put some new intentions out, but I'll be a little honest that these new intentions, like if we have a little bit of a struggle going on with them because we have so much in retrograde. So it's like perseverance. Stick to it. Don't give up, all right? And the, really the key is to look for signs around you. Look for signs that can help you to kind of keep going on your path, keep moving forward. That's what we want to do. We really want to find those signs that can help us to understand all right, these eclipses, they really kind of initiate cycles really, really for about six months. So that's the end of the year, right? That's what we're talking about. And so you really have to kind of take it in, crystallize your vision, really pull it in. Last night we were in Pranic Healing. Greg, thank you so much. I love when he's in town. Pull it into the heart. Like, what is it at the end result? Like, what are you going for? What are you feeling? What are you wanting? And that's what you want to hold into your heart. And that's what you want to release up into spirit, into the ethers. All right, we don't want to get caught in all that chaos and all that challenge energy. So really being really clear on what it is. Clean up your space. Be strong in what you're doing. All right, don't let the clutter get in. Don't let the clutter get in the mind either. So really it's an opportunity to really kind of have the perseverance be strong in what you're doing, and keep going, keep moving forward, all right? This week, we're kind of right there in the middle of that energy between the new and then that full moon that comes in next week, all right? Another eclipse is coming forward. So really, we want to really just kind of persevere, notice what's working, notice what's not, and what's not is what you don't want to focus on, all right? You just want to release it out, send it back to the earth. And then what is working and what is your dreams and your goals for the rest of the year, keep it in your heart, all right? Not here. Drop it into the heart and let the heart open up, all right? Let it move out into spirit. That's what's really important, all right? It's really possible to do that, all right? The eclipses and the retrograde, they may be making you feel a little bit unsettled. Yes, Mercury's going to come in very soon, go retrograde as well, which most of us know about Mercury, but we have all those other retrogrades. Mars is still in retrograde. So we may feel like things are unclear, things are unstable, things aren't working, all right? Maybe you have a lot of white space in your schedule. If you work for yourself this coming week, all right? So don't get flipped out. Just know that this white space is able for you to create, all right? Really just kind of keep putting it out there. Know what it is that you're doing. Be honest with yourself. And again, don't get caught in the chatter of the mind. That's what you want to release. You really do. You want to just kind of Keep blazing those new paths, keep inching along, keep being strong. And again, the word that just keeps coming up for me, perseverance. And as we talked about last week, ground, 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 ground your energy. Really important that we do that. All right. Again, you may feel like, God, haven't I been through this before? Haven't I already done this? Haven't I already cleared this? And so some of it may come up, but it's like, okay, just say, yeah, I have and let it go. Don't get caught in the drama again. Don't get caught in the circle of the mind. All right? So much so many times many of us do that. We just get caught in it. We don't know what to do, and so we just let the mind take over. But no, get outside. Go for a walk. Put your feet on the earth and just tell yourself, "I've done this before." Mind stop, all right? I'm really working towards new goals, and that's what you want to do. You really want to put them out there. And know that the energy will shift. It's going to shift, all right? Nothing stays the same, right? I talk about that all the time. Nothing stays the same. So if you feel a little challenged right now, have the perseverance to move forward. Ground the energy and release it out. That's really the focus of this week. Especially as we start off, it's really going to be kind of coming out of that new moon energy, coming out of that eclipse. We may feel like, where am I? What am I doing? And that's the opportunity to start something new, I feel like. I know that we've had a little resistance. New moons are always about putting new intentions out there. But with all the retrograde, we may feel like it's not happening. It's not working. But that's where you don't give up. That's where you really just keep going renew it every day like take a few moments do a gratitude journal thank you for these new intentions i'm putting them out thank you for where i am and that's kind of what it is that you want to do you want to really kind of just realign with your energy realign with what you want keep clarifying clarifying what that goal is for you that's what this week is going to be about perseverance is key and grounding is key too so let's take a moment and do a little bit of that grounding, all right? So wherever you are, if you can, let's take a few moments. 
Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale out. Inhaling. Pulling that energy all the way up from the earth, up into the heavens, that pranic energy. Exhale, send it all the way back down, deep into the earth. Pull in your energy, inhaling. As you exhale, call in your higher guidance. Call in your higher self to align with your energy. Feel the spiritual body coming into line with the physical body. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Pull back all the energy that you may have scattered through the week. Pull it back right into the core. Pull all that energy back. Feel yourself centering, calling in. All right, crazy week. You may have energy all over the place. Pull it back. Now's the time to refocus the energy. Start fresh. Pull it back. Feel yourself pulling in. So we call in. Let's call in some guidance. Call in your spiritual guides. Call in the masters, the teachers, your archangels. Whatever it is for you, call it in so that you can feel supported. You can feel loved and you can feel that energy of vibration all around you lifting you up. Call it in. Inhaling. the passion where we honor all that we have we look to the goddess energy that feminine energy coming forward all that new birthing going on the ability to grow and mature for passion that sexual energy let it come forward let that fire open you up as we honor the summer the direction of the south and we honor all the directions to the west the north the east above us below us call in to the very center call in your guidance Call in yourself. Feel yourself aligning with that energy. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, send the excess energy all the way down the body, through the feet, deep into the earth. Feel it all the way down, connecting with Mother Earth. That's how we ground. Very important to be grounded right now. Feel that connection with Mother Earth. Send those roots out, imagining those roots growing underneath the earth deeper and deeper, reaching out to all people around you, to all the energy, to the plants, the animals, the minerals, the crystals, all of the energy, feel that connection. Finding that oneness with everyone, don't isolate. Don't isolate yourself, feel that connection right now. Grounding your energy, let the stress go, let the struggle go, it's another day. Inhaling, Exhaling away. Just imagine. Energy falls in tension. Imagine it falling away. Feel that energy above you refreshing you. The higher dimensions come in. No judgment. No judgment about anything. Just let it be open. Let your heart open. And I'm just going to ask you right into your heart, what is it you desire? What is that goal? Bring it right here into the heart. Whatever it is for you, feel what it would feel like to have that goal. That's what you want. And allow that to radiate out. Fill up your aura with that positive, beautiful vibration of inspiration, of desire, of passion. Let that surround you right now. Feel it coming from the heart. Feel the energy. Don't think it. Feel it. And send it out into the universe. Inhaling. And exhaling. Send it out. Be surrounded in this higher vibration so you can move through your week focused and alive and awake and aware. Bring it in. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel the energy coming back, pulling the energy in. So we go to look to the cards. Hey, Regina, how are you, dear? I think about you all the time, sending you lots of love and blessings. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Martha. 
see some other people have joined. Now they open my eyes back up. All right. We're going to look at these cards. I couldn't have picked better cards, really. I picked them. I looked at them like, yep, this is definitely the message for this week. So the first card is, if you didn't choose a card, one, two, three, go ahead and put that vibration out there for you. But the universal card for all of us is this beautiful card. It's the nine of wands. This is all about perseverance. This is all about like, don't give up. Even if it seems hard, even if it seems like things aren't coming forward, take another step forward. Take another step up that ladder. Use the skills that you have. This is all about perseverance. This is about all about that work. And it's of the wands. Wands is that passions and desires, perfect alignment with the summer. All right, so where can you do this for your own life right now? Where can you bring this energy forward for you? All right, that's what we really are focusing on all week. So if you chose number one, this is another beautiful card that really aligns with that energy. This is about that inner light for you. All right, don't let everybody else's opinion get in your way. Don't let it, what everybody else has to say. All right, this is all about putting that energy out. It's a seven. Seven's our spiritual energy. Where is that light for you? All right, I feel like it aligns with what we were talking about before. The heart energy. Where can you open up that light? Have the perseverance to keep going. Don't let it get dim. All right, there's a lot of mass consciousness out there. Struggle, strife, all of that stuff. Don't get caught in it. All right, keep shining your light so that you can take another step forward. That's how we do it, from the heart out. Don't get caught here, all right? That's the really big challenge. If you drew number two, this is the wish card, all right? But I have to admit, it was upside down, all right? The nine of cups is always a card. We always love to see it. It's a wish card. But because it's upside down, we have to turn it around, all right? So don't give up on your wishes, all right? Maybe something didn't come forward that you wanted to last week. Don't give up. Don't give up. Perseverance reunite with those wishes all right turn this around for you it's from the heart again cups is from the heart put that back into your heart open it back up again don't give up put those wishes out it's a great card even if it's reversed it means it's underneath the surface for you all right and the next card is another wands it's the daughter of wands again this is all about passions and desires this is all about that visionary energy all right and it's a young energy when we have that young energy it's like the sky's the limit. We can do anything we want. Open up to it. It's my birthday week. I am loving this card. I can do anything I want. Makes me want to cry, right? Put it out there. Forget about the hardships. <laughs> I am. I'm crying. Yay! Birthday energy does that, right? Solar return. But guys, we can do this. Don't give up. Really. I know that there's stress and there's struggle and there's things all around us. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. Yay for life, right? Yay for life. Got a thumbs up for that one. But don't give up. We just keep reuniting with our spirit, with our soul, and we let that open up and we put that out there. Lots of hearts. Thanks, y'all. Happy birthday. Yeah. I don't know why it got me there. I guess because, you know, we all have struggles, right? We all have struggles. And we can either choose to hang out in them and get caught up in them, or we can choose to say, okay, where's the lesson? That's what we do. So I love this card. She really pushed on me this morning, didn't she? So maybe you're feeling this too, but have the vision. Have the ability to tap into that infinite potential. That's what life is about, right? When we get caught in the mind, we get caught in the ego, we really talk ourselves out of our life. But you know what? This is the life we have right now. We bring in from the other worlds. We bring in spirit. We bring in the possibilities of really doing what we want. If we live by somebody else's rules, we can get caught in that energy. And that's no fun, right? So here's a chance through all this eclipse energy, through this summer passion and desire to bring it forward. All right. So let's just go through this one more time for all of us. Don't give up. Keep going. Step up to the plate. Open up to your intuitive abilities. Know that inner guidance is drawing you where you need to go. The perseverance is really, really key. That is what is really important. All right. And then the first card that we chose, this is all about that inner light. What is your inner light? What is it? All right. What is your inner light? And let that shine. Don't let everybody dim it. All right. See how it opens. See how this card opens up. And it's the wands. It's the passion. This is all what we're working through right now. If you drew the second card, all right, this is the wish card. It was upside down. So don't give up on your wishes. All right. Don't give up on those birthday wishes. Right. Turn it around. Keep putting them out there from the heart. All right. From the heart, not the mind. Put them from the heart. And then the daughter of swords. I mean, the daughter of wands. 
<sighs> infinite potential. Be that visionary. Keep putting it out. Look at that infinite potential. That eight, it's a snake. That's transformation. Look at how the blooms are growing. Where can you bring that in for your life right now, all right? Celebrate the birthday time with me. Put it out there. I believe in infinite potential. All right, let's do it. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Thank you guys for joining me. If anybody would like another card to add to what they've chosen, let me know. Yeah, so let's see. This week we continue with the Empowered Spirit Show. Um, if you didn't see last week, we had Brandon Knight from Modern Mystic in Atlanta talking about the CBD oils, kicking off this series. Really great information. This week we have Heather Kendricks coming on, talking about all that she is um, working with it as well. We get into talking about that bliss hormone. We talk about how CBDs can get us into the sympathetic nervous system of the body. Really important for healing. So reach out if you do want more information. I've been learning so much. Let's see, I've got her, and then I've got Melissa Beasley coming on, talking about how she's using it in skincare products and how it's helped her with social anxiety. And I've got some other people coming on. I met a woman in, woman in New York who's doing lots of great work. She has a new book out. She'll be on the ABCs of CBD. I'm talking to the um, Cannabis Holistic Academy. She's going to be coming on talking to us. So lots of great information coming forward. So check out the series, EmpoweredSpiritShow.com. Really, and if you need some more information, let me know. I will be adding some meditations and CBDs on Wednesdays at Birmingham Yoga. I'll be letting you know about that as well. So that's coming up on the Empowered Spirit Circle. I do have spaces open in the Empowered Spirit Program. Let me know if you'd like some private mentoring. That's possible as well. All right, let's see what else is going on. That's what it is. Thank you for sharing. Pull a card. Yes. All right, Daniel, Patrick, Patrick, Daniel. <laughs> All right, I'll pull a card for you too. Liddell, thank you for showing us your heart. Yes, it just came forward. I don't know what it is, but I guess it's that birthday energy. And I have been going through struggles, but they're moving out. They're clearing away. All right, let's start with Patrick. Here you go, Patrick. This one is for you. It's the two of swords, all right? This is about a decision, all right? So maybe you have had a little bit of indecision, all right? And that's keeping you stuck. See how they're crossing here? And swords is a struggle of the mind. So it's time to make a decision. Is that true? Is there some work that you need to do to figure out how to open that up? I always say no decisions are wrong decisions. We just then create a little path. And then if we have to course correct, we course correct. So know that that energy, and it's with the sun. It almost looks like eclipse energy as well. So maybe you can do some shifting this week as you come forward and make a choice on the path that you need to make. Twos are about duality, all right? So sometimes we have to look at this side and this side in order to figure it out. All right, I got a thumbs up. So don't let that indecision create a roadblock for you. Move through it. Really important to move through it. All right, hopefully that helps. All right, Tani T, thank you for sharing. Can you please pull a card? Sure. All right, this one is for you. This is the Son of Swords, all right? This is transformation energy. This is like, don't be afraid to change, all right? It is of sword. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's of wands. Excuse me. Passions and desires. I love this. Son of wands. This is all about opening up to that passion and desire, all right? It's young energy. Sun is young energy. So, again, it's like, don't get caught in the fear of the mind. Like, put it forward. What is it you want? And bring that forward. Snake energy, again. See the snake there? It's all about transformation. And that's what it is that we want. All right, bring it forward. Now is the time. We're in the half of the year and all this eclipse energy. That's a perfect card for you to do as well. All right, Patrick, you are welcome. All right, um, Yannette, I'll draw one for you. Hey, Mary, how are you? Meredith, all right, this is intense. Three of swords. All right, this is about some healing that needs to happen. All right, Yannette, so maybe there is some healing. Maybe you think you've already done it, but we need to go a little further. All right, threes can be a little complicated energy, right? But don't let it stop you. Do a little more healing. Now's the time. Open the heart and release out what it is that hurts. All right, don't let it get to you. All right, just take some more time and offer a little healing. Clear the mind. Again, this is really big. Clear the mind. All right, thanks. That resonates. Very good. All right, who did I miss? Anybody else? Hi, Meredith. I'm going to draw a card for you. All right. This one is for you. All right. Let's see. Justice. 
I was going to put it back. I don't know because I wasn't sure how this would resonate. But this is about this is about finding the balance in life. All right. Really important to find that balance. See the black, the white, the sword in the middle. So don't get caught in one way or the other. Just kind of come into that ability to not judge. All right. This is really what it's about. Don't judge it. Just look for the lessons and the challenges that you have going forward. All right. It's no need to judge our life. No need to think we've made wrong choices. It's really just about finding the balance. If things aren't working, we course correct. All right. We have both sides. We always have the ability to shift and go back and forward, but don't judge. That's what this card is really all about, the justice card. It's like no judgment on our lives, right? We try stuff. If we don't try, how do we go forward, all right? So find the ability to just to kind of look at your life, come back into balance, and then open up and make another choice. That's what it really is about, and that's where we find the ability to grow and to learn and to love ourselves even greater. All right. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Anybody else? All right. I think I've gotten everybody. So we're going to have a very intense week. Ground the energy. And again, if you didn't hear before, perseverance is really key. Really, really key. Just keep taking that step forward. Even when things seem challenging and like you're never going to make it. Of course, correct. But take step forward. Really important. So thank you guys for letting me express. I don't know what happened. The tears were falling. I think it's just that birthday energy. And that, yeah, life can get challenging at times. But if we hold on to the challenge, we get stuck. So we let it go. We look beneath the surface and say, what's my lesson? Where can I course correct? My favorite words, course correct. Where can I shift my energy? And open up to the greater part of who I am. Bring those goals, those desires, those patterns. I mean, those, those things that you want right into your heart. Drop it from the head into the heart, and from there, put it out into the universe, all right? All right, guys, focus your energy. Stay grounded. We're still being shaken up for the next several weeks, but know that you can do this. Have faith. Have courage. Build your spiritual practice. If you need help, go over to my website, terryannhyman.com. Get your guide, Five Simple Steps to Setting Up a Spiritual Practice. It's fun. It's easy. It's refreshing, and it will build courage to go forward in your life no matter what. No matter what, the wheel is always turning. All right, it's going to be a great week. Thank you guys for celebrating with me. I'm not sure if I'll be on next week. I'm going to be up in Nashville with my daughter, canoeing down the Piney River. We'll see what happens. But for now, take this out into the world. Share it with somebody that may need a little more encouragement in their life. Keep building your work. Keep putting those goals from your heart out into the universe. Have a great week. To your spirit, namaste.